when we talk about the anointing, or when the, when the Bible mentions the anointing, what we're really talking about is the presence and power of the Holy Spirit that causes the work of God to take place through a human vessel. So when you talk about the anointing, it's, it's, it's not about the vessel, it's about the Holy Spirit. It's about His presence and power expressed through a human vessel that causes the work of God to take place. That's what we mean by the anointing. It's His activity, His work uh, being expressed through us. You see, the Bible tells us in, uh, in 2 Corinthians 1, verses 21 and 22, the Apostle Paul tells us that it is God who anoints us. You see, so uh, this anointing that we're talking about, the presence and the work of the Holy Spirit is released through us, is not obtained here and there. It comes from God. Now, how important is the anointing? The eternal Word of God who became the incarnate word, that means the word who was manifested in the flesh, the incarnate word ministered by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. That means Jesus ministered by the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit. And in the ministry of Jesus, we see that there was the flow of power through his life. And you remember, when the woman with the issue of blood touched G the hem of Jesus' garment, the Bible says, says that Jesus perceived that power had gone out of him. The woman knew that she was healed. In another place in Luke 6 and verse 19, the Bible says the whole multitude sought to touch him for power went out of him and healed them all. So there was a flow of the anointing into the lives of people. Some people touched him. Some people touched the hem of his garment, uh, you know, different ways. But through him, the, there was a flow of the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit that healed and delivered people. We also see that it was faith that connected with the anointing. So when people came to him in faith, he was the anointed one, he was the anointed person, and there was a flow of power through him, but it was faith that connected with that anointing. And again, a great example is that of that woman with the issue of blood. You see, there were many others who were pressing around Jesus, but they didn't experience the anointing in their lives. But this woman who came in faith, she was able to connect with the anointing and received the flow of the anointing into her life. Uh, there were no constraints in time or distance for the flow of the anointing. Uh, there were times Jesus told people, you know, go home, your son, son lives. Or he told the woman, the Canaanite woman, he says, your daughter is free, your, your daughter is delivered. And her daughter was at home and she came to Jesus in faith. And he said, woman, great is your faith, be it unto you even as you will. And her daughter who was at home was delivered. So I want us to understand, I want us to know that the anointing is still at work in the church today. See, the anointing didn't cease with Jesus and his ministry. The anointing didn't cease with just the apostles. Because in John chapter 7, verses 37 to 39, Jesus said this. He said, you know, if any man thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me. Notice he's talking about those who believe in him. And you and I are here. We believe in Jesus. So he's talking about you and me. And he says, he who believes in me out of his innermost being will flow rivers of living water. What are those rivers of living water? It continues there in verse 39. It says, but this he spoke of the Holy Spirit. So those rivers of living water is the presence, it is the power of the Holy Spirit flowing through every believer. And that's why we can say with full assurance that the anointing is still at work in the church today. Everything in the Bible that happened by the anointing can happen again and again and again because the anointing, the presence and the power of the Holy Spirit has never diminished, has not changed. The anointing destroys the yoke and removes burdens. The anointing releases the sevenfold work of the Spirit, meaning 
the sovereignty of God, His wisdom, His knowledge, His understanding, His counsel, His might, and the reverence for God. It's released. We said the anointing releases justice and strength, brings instruction, counsel, and guidance. The anointing brings reviving and fruitfulness. The anointing brings growth and strength and blessing. The anointing stops the enemy. The anointing brings healing. It brings release. It brings counsel. Uh, it brings comfort. Uh, it, it, it overthrows heaviness and gives a praise, puts praise. It gives beauty for ashes. All of this and much more can take place for you and me.